All right, guys, uh, next up, what we're going to do here is solve these exponential equations. Um, and the key for these ones is really going to be kind of uh, two steps here. So step one is we need to make the bases the same. Um, so the bases is kind of uh, what's holding up the exponent. So on number 31, you can see that these bases are already the same. So that one's going to be uh, that step one's already done for us. Uh, but on number 32, you can see this base is 30 is 5, and then this base is uh, 125. So those bases are not the same. We're going to need to make them the same, and, and I'll show you how to do that. Step two is that once you get those bases the same, you can uh, set the exponents equal to each other, and then solve. Uh, so that is what we're going to do here, okay? So... Um, Number 31 here, like I said, step one is already done for us um, on number 31 uh, because those exponents are already the same. And so since 2 equals 2, now all I need is I just need this exponent to equal that exponent. So I'm just going to drop the bases and then uh, set these two equal to each other. And now I'm just going to have to solve that. Uh, so in order to solve that, uh, I have variables on each side. I would always add all the variables to the same side. So in this case, I would add k over here. And that's going to give me negative k minus 2 equals 3. And then I'm going to add 2 to the other side. I get negative k equals 5. And then uh, I need to divide by negative 1. And so k equals negative 5. And that's it. All right, so the next up, number 32, we can see on this one that obviously 5 does not equal 125. And so what I need to, to do is I need to write both of these with a base of 5. So I'm going to say 5 to the 3k. And what, what you're going to always do on these is kind of adjust the bigger one. Um, so 125 happens to be a 5 to the third power. So you're always going to kind of want to check that. Um, you can look at the bigger one and say, okay, so can I do this as 5 squared? No, that's 25. But if I do 5 to the third, that gives me 125. So you just have to kind of go through your exponents there and figure out a way where you can rewrite this um, to give it the same exponent. So in this case, it would be uh, 5 to the third power. So now, um, as come to some kind of say step one is right there. I, I finished it here. In this case, it wasn't done for me like on the previous problem. Uh, I had to adjust it to make them both a base five. And now I can go on to step two, which is get those exponents now and set them equal to each other. So now I can just say um, that th these two, since I made the, the fives the same, that 3k equals three and just solve that. So I'm going to divide by 3, and I'm just going to say k equals 1 then. All right, uh, you know what? I'm going to do these a little bit out of order. I'm actually going to go to number 36 next, because I think that's actually the next easiest one. And so I need to do step 1 here. I need to make these both have the base of 3. So this one already has the base of 3, so I'm going to keep that like that. And then how can I write 243? Um, well, I know that 3 squared is is 9, so that's not it. 3 to the 3rd would be 27. 3 to the 4th uh, is 81. And then 3 to the 5th, um, and you can use a calculator for this for sure, that happens to be 243. So it looks like 5 is my kind of magic number there that's going to work out and make them both uh, be the same base. Um, so you just got to run through that until you kind of find this number right there. Okay, so now that I got step one done, we're ready to go to step two, which is to take these bases and set them equal to each other. Um, so what am I going to do then? Okay, so what I'm going to do is just say 2 minus 3x equals 5. Uh, just setting those, those exponents equal to each other. Uh, I only have a variable on one side, so I'm going to subtract the 2 over. So I get negative 3x equals 3. We'll divide by negative 3. Um, and so that would be x equals negative 1 for that one. All right, next up I'm going to do number 35 here. Um, we're actually going to we'll skip number 34. We don't need to do that one. But number 35, what I see here is I have 216 in the denominator. Now, whenever we think of denominators, I think of a uh, negative exponent. Uh, if uh, negative exponents send things to the denominator, and so 
that's what I'm thinking there. And so whenever it turns into a fraction, I always, always think about that. So I'm just gonna go through like I did before. We're gonna go do step one, which is to make them have the same base. And so I'm gonna use a base of six. I'm gonna go six to the two n plus one equals, and I need to figure out six here to the exponent. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna say six squared I know is uh, 36, and six to the third power is 216. And so that's my number there. And once again, you can use a calculator for that one. But since it's in the denominator, instead of the third power, it's going to be the negative three power. So I'm kind of using both of these pieces of information, uh, this one right here, and then also this right here to make that conclusion. So if it was just equal to 216, I would use the third power. But since it's one over 216, that's just going to flip it to the negative third power. So if it's in that fraction, just flip it. Now I can, I can move on to step two and take these exponents and set them equal. Uh, all right, and then we will subtract 1, 2n equals negative 4, and then um, divide by 2, and n equals negative 2. All right, 33 is the toughest one we'll do today, uh, and the reason this one's tough is when I try to do step 1, and I'm trying to look at, like, what's 16 squared, um, shoot, I should have that memorized, but I'm going to use my calculator for that, so 16 squared, what is that? Um, 256 so it's not going to turn into 64 there and so what I need to do on this one is actually look at um, since this one doesn't work I got to look at 4 so if I look at 4 squared that would be 16 and if I look at 4 to the third that's actually 64 so I can actually do this by changing both of them in this case since I can't just change one of them so I'm going to call this one 4 to the third to the 3x equals 4 squared uh, because 4 squared like I said here is 16 and 4 to the third is 64 now the rule here is to multiply these exponents and so this is going to become 4 to the power of 9x equals 4 squared so a little more complicated there because we had to change both of them. Um, but now I did finish step one, so now I'm ready to move on to step two, which is to set those equal to each other. Uh, so 9x equals 2, and we can divide by 9. So x, so x equals, you could just call that 2 over 9. Um, if you wanted to say x equals 0.22 for the decimal, that's fine too.